guys today i wanted to talk to you guys about laziness like when your friend is too lazy to grab something so they ask you to grab it for them that's laziness anyway what inspired this video today was i asked my friends and the people in my house if they wanted to go to the park and they all said no you're probably thinking i'm over exaggerating but hold on there's more and yes there's still drawings on my hand if you noticed then I asked them if they wanted to go to the park. No. Wait for this last one and I'll explain why I think it's laziness. Then I asked all of them if they wanted to do anything but be lazy. And do you know what they said? No. Not only just that situation, but there's also a lot of things that prove that this world has gotten so lazy. Instead of talking face to face, you talk ear to mouth to ear to mouth. If you didn't get that, I meant cell phones. And also, instead of being a normal human and getting off the couch to come turn on the TV, which is right here, there's a TV, I'm watching Family Guy. Good show, very good show. Anyway, instead of getting up to change the channel, they invented the remote, which your parents make you grab anyway, even though they were supposed to make it to where no one had to get up. I can talk pretty fast, I should be a rapper. Just kidding, I'm bad at rapping. Anyway, the remote is a couch potato's best friend. Anyway, after the thoughts of those run through my head, I realized just how lazy the world is getting. But some of the things actually help us, time-wise. Like cars, jets, and cell phones. You'd have to walk all the way just to talk to someone in a quick conversation without cell phones. Without cars, you'd have to walk. And you'd take a long time. And without airplanes, there wouldn't be sports. There would just be like sports for certain states. But still, this world gets lazier every second. So join all the lazyologists, if there's this thing that is a lazyologist, and save the world.